prey on a decision like that. Like I, I, this as somebody who never really like. I'll be honest, I did try to pray a couple times in my life. Like, maybe a couple dozen times total across my entire, Mm -hmm. you know, 30 years of being alive. Um, And I I, I would say, like, I'm saying a couple dozen, meaning maybe 18 times where I earnestly tried to pray. Mm -hmm. right? As opposed to putting my hands together and being like, please, God, and like, in a sarcastic way or whatever. I mean, sincerely tried. Never got anything out of it. Ever. I never, and I don't mean never got anything out of it like I didn't get what I wanted. But many times I did get what I wanted, but I never felt anything. You know, so what does it mean to spray on a decision? Okay, so well, like this is I have two a two part answer. Okay, uh-huh. so first, um, you know, like in meetings and stuff, we'll pray and you'll like supplicate Jehovah, and it basically means like. Like, you're supposed to, if you're a witness, you're supposed to pray over, like, buying a new car or a new house and things like that. So huh. what you would do is you'd be like, okay, Jehovah, I'm reaching out to you. I have this job offer and this job offer. And I'm, like, weighing the pros and cons. And, like, I really, you know, I just need, you know, your help to understand, like, what the best route for me to take is. And then, um, or, you know, if you're going to a door and you're very scared... You'll pray to Jehovah to give you courage. And I think um, it's more if you, you know, believe it, you'll feel it. Huh. Um, in my personal experience, my whole life, being... Even a, when you were a witness. Even when I was a witness, even as a child, mm. I never felt anything when I prayed. Mm. I did not understand what was wrong with me. I, it always felt like I was just talking to myself. Sometimes I felt like God was watching, but it was really more just like my parents and just Mm. like the conscience. You know, when you're a kid, your conscience is, will I get in trouble for this or not? Kind of conscience. Maybe for you. No. No. I just did things regardless. Okay, well, like, we do, we'll, we'll save your life. It's just like I didn't get in that much trouble after a certain age, meaning, like, after I understood what was expected of me, I just didn't get in much trouble. Okay, well, thanks. Though I do want to say real quick, um, you know, my brother actually, like, I, I, I can be very indecisive. Um, and my brother also can be very indecisive. And one of the things he told me to start doing when I'm feeling indecisive about making a decision of one or two th- uh, you know, of two things. And this is going to sound ridiculous. You're like not sure which you want A or B. So you flip a coin and you say heads is A, tails is B. And by the time you catch the coin you try to decide. It's basically a timer. A very, very short timer. And you get a gut feeling, okay, I want to do A. Or I want to do B. And like I still do that. Only now I don't carry change. I just have our Amazon Echo full of coin for me. But, like, I still do that if I don't know. You know, I'm like, oh, do I want chicken ramen or beef ramen? It's not a big decision or whatever. So I just have a coin flip. And by the time I get the result, I've already decided. And it helps me. It just kind of pushes me to make a decision. That's what it sounds like you're talking about when, to me. When you're talking about, like, praying over a decision. Yeah, no, basically yeah, that's... You reach out to God and then you hope that you get a feeling. But, like, that's basically what I was doing by flipping a coin. Yeah. Because, like, know, it doesn't matter what the coin says. But it's weird, too. But I've had conversations with people, relatives even, who say, you know, like, I've been praying really hard about this, but I'm not getting any... Yeah. Like, I'm not getting the answer which one is, way or the other. Which is to be expected if you don't know. Because, like, sometimes... Like, yeah, like, if you're talking about something like a job... Or whatever. Yeah. You, know? you weigh the pros and cons, and it's too complicated for you to really that's make like a, a pretty, firm decision. Like, that's a lifestyle change, which is a lot different than, like, I need the strength to knock on this door. Like, you've knocked on 50 doors before. You can right. knock on one more. So, like, you know, like, not to be mean, but, like, it's not that impressive. 